Have you been wondering what the year of got a thyroid disease? Then, first and foremost what you can do is examine your thyroid gland at home. And if you suspect something, then you can meet your physician. So how to do it at home? It is basically a three-step procedure. The things that you're going to need is a mirror, a cup of water. So how to do it? Stand facing the mirror, take a sip of water, and while fixing your gaze on the thyroid gland by looking on the mirror, try to gulp it. Now, while gulping, if you happen to see a disproportionality on either sides of the thyroid gland, in the form of a bulge, mild swelling, or a spreading swelling, then you got to suspect a thyroid dysfunction. If it is a bulge that is just on one side of the thyroid gland, it could be a nodule. Now, if you just find swelling on one side of your thyroid gland, which is not hard to touch, it could be goiter. But if you find a kind of a swelling that is soft to touch and is spreading all over, uniformly on either sides of the gland, then it could be Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Now, by looking for each one of these, you can find the anatomical deformity in your thyroid gland. If none of these are there, you needn't worry. Now, along with these anatomical deformities, if you have been experiencing fatigue, weight gain or weight loss, constipation, sudden hair fall, then you must meet your physician. Your physician is going to check for the following in your blood. TSS, free T3, free T4, and if he suspects an autoimmune condition, then they may also check for anti-TPU and anti-thyroglobulin antibody. Now, these will help us identify if it is hypothyroidism, hyperthyroidism, or Hashimoto's or Graves' disease. If it is none of these, but still you find a hard swelling or bulge on one side of your thyroid gland, then you may have to get an ultrasound scan done of your thyroid gland. And that will help us in identifying whether there is a single nodule or multiple nodule. So this is how you test for the thyroid gland. But to begin with, simple examination facing the mirror is more than enough as the primary test. 